Did you ever wonder how fully embroidered clothes were made? Ready-to-wear garments ranges from the simplest styles to the more elaborate designs. And of course, the costs varies depending on the style. But did you know that you can create a garment with all the intricate and elaborate decorative stitching in it and it doesn't have to be costly? All you need is just your usual sewing supplies and notions and a sewing pattern of your choice. You can either go for a shirt blouse, a pair of pants, or in my case, a simple pencil skirt, which I find easier to decorate since I'm doing this tutorial. The machine that I will be working on is the Brother NV180, the sewing, quilting, and embroidery sewing machine. If you have been following us for quite some time now, you might have noticed that we do have a Sewing Saturday series wherein I have demonstrated how to use and where to apply the decorative stitches that is found on the Brother NV180. You can definitely check that out, come back here, and join our sew along. So today we will be doing something different. We will be creating an actual skirt from scratch and as we go along the process, we will be incorporating plenty of decorative stitches in it. And if you are a big fan of embroidery, you might want to start with this project. So our goal for today is to create a pencil skirt. But it's not just a pencil skirt. We will be creating a skirt with a lot of elaborate decorative stitches in it. So let's go over the materials we will need for this project. First, we will need a sewing pattern. I will be working with this simple skirt pattern which I drafted, but if you do have a commercial pattern lying around, you may have the liberty of working with those so you don't have to draft the pattern. We will need a plain cotton fabric, about a yard and a half or so, a lightweight fusible interfacing for the waistband, a zipper, and hook and eye for closure, sewing pins, a pair of fabric scissors as well as paper scissors. We will require thread to sew our pieces together as well as to embroider or decorate our skirt. Don't forget the iron and ironing mat, a ruler and a chalk for marking, and finally, we will need a long strip of tracing paper of about 25 inches long. So this project consists of a few pieces only, the waistband, the front, and the back pieces. However, the front and back pieces will have a lower piece that will be attached along the hem through the figuring technique. Which is going to be really cool once we finish it. The zipper goes to the left side of the skirt and two slits on the side which allows for movement. The skirt is going to be stitched with various decorative stitches to give that embroidered look. To begin our process, I went ahead and drafted my pattern pieces using the measurements on my dress form. I have then proceeded in cutting out the fabric pieces of the skirt, the waistband, the front and back pieces, as well as the hems. The raw edges will be finished with an overcasting stitch so that we don't have to worry about them later on. All the side seams and the hems will be sewn with an overcasting stitch. Once all the edges are secured, I then started with the exciting and creative part. I will be drawing lines using a marker or a chalk to give me guidelines on where to stitch the decorative stitches. 
The goal here is to incorporate as much decorative stitching as possible to give that elaborately styled garment. It is also important to choose the right thread color to match your main fabric. Constructing a simple skirt such as this can only take an hour or two at maximum. But with the details we're putting in, it could take a little bit more time um, due to the decorative stitches that we're going to be putting in. Back when I started sewing, I never knew or thought that these stitches could come in really handy. Especially if you're aiming for a more customized or stylized project. And you don't have to spend hours or days putting in all the embroidery details by hand. Thanks to the brother NV180's decorative stitches feature, now we can all do these at speed. Once all the decorative stitching is done, we will proceed in constructing the skirt. Next is to install the zipper. We will first mark two inches from the bottom of the skirt on both side seams to create a slit. Then we will mark the length of the zipper to be used. The left side seam is then sewn together, leaving the marked sections unsewn. Using the zipper foot, we will then attach the zipper. In this project, I have used an invisible zipper which is common on most pencil skirts. Once the zipper is attached, we will then proceed in attaching the lower hems to the front and back using the figuring technique. The lower hems are first finished by folding the sides as well as the hem. The hems will be finished with a decorative stitch to secure the folds in place. Figuring is also called bridging stitch. This is done by placing both the folded edges of the fabric a quarter of an inch apart on a piece of lightweight tracing paper. To make the process easier, I have drawn two parallel lines one fourth of an inch apart from each other, and I have lined up both folded edges along both lines opposite each other.
By selecting the figuring stitch on the machine, I have then sewn both fabric. Once done, the paper is then ripped out, which will then leave a gap between the two fabric pieces. The other side seam is then sewn together. The main body of the skirt is finished, and the next step is to attach the waistband. This is done by folding the waistband lengthwise in half and pressing it. The other edge is then folded about 5 eighths of an inch, as this will go on the inside of the skirt. To ensure that the waistband will be inserted correctly, it is important to note that the waistband has an extension as well as seam allowances. This is done by marking the seam allowance on both ends of the waistband. We will then sew the entire waistband through the unfolded edge by putting both the skirt and the waistband right side to right side. Finally, we can attach our closures by sewing in either a button or a hook and eye. In this project, I have used a hook and eye to give that project or the skirt that retro vibe. And there we have it, a simple but intricately styled skirt using the decorative stitches in the Brother NV180. This is a fun project, however, you will really need to spend extra time decorating this skirt. Now, have you decided what you're gonna make on your next sewing project? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Indeed, the Brother NV180 is one of the best sewing machines out there, as you can definitely create an entire wardrobe out of it. I hope that you learned something in today's video tutorial. It's Julius here with you, and I will see you in another sewing project.